Welcome to St. Michael's Children's Liturgy of the Word. Let me ask you a question. Is there anything really valuable that you would love to have, like a new bike or a skateboard or a, a new video game? And if you found it, how much would you be willing to give up so that you could buy it? For example, when I was a kid, I loved to collect baseball cards. I would go to shops and baseball shows all the time to look for new and old cards. But I was really looking for one specific card, the rookie card of my favorite baseball player, Don Mattingly. Maybe you never heard of him. But I looked everywhere for this baseball card and I saved a lot of money up just in case I ever found it because it was really expensive. Well, in today's gospel, we're going to hear two short parables. In each of them, someone is looking for something very valuable. And when they find it, we're going to hear what they're willing to give up so that they can have it. Wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, I want you to stand up for the good news of Jesus Christ. Halle, 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 Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. May the word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like what happens when someone finds treasure hidden in a field and buries it again. A person like that is happy and goes and sells everything in order to buy that field. The kingdom of heaven is like what happens when a shop owner is looking for fine pearls. After finding a very valuable one, the owner goes and sells everything in order to buy that pearl. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in these parables, like the first one, we hear of a man who's walking in a field and he sees an amazing treasure. Could you imagine that? And it's so amazing, it's so valuable to him that he goes and sells everything he owns, his house, maybe his horse, all his clothes, everything but what he's wearing, so that he could buy that whole field so he could have the treasure. Now think about that thing I asked you about in the beginning. You know, that new bike or video game or whatever it is that, that you want. How much would you be willing to give up for that? So let's say you find the perfect bike. Would you be willing to sell all your clothes and your parents' house and your parents' car and, in, and anything that you own? Would you be willing to give up that much just for that one thing? Maybe not. It's probably not that valuable, is it? But Jesus is telling us that there is something so valuable, so worthy, that we should give up everything we own for it. And what does he say it is? Yeah, the kingdom of heaven. Well, what does that mean? Well, you know how you have a dream of owning that great, amazing thing we talked about? Well, God has a dream too. Did you realize that? And his dream is called the kingdom of heaven. Now, a big difference is God, unlike us, he can make his dreams a reality. He can make his dreams come true. So God has this vision of the kingdom of heaven, and he sent Jesus to the earth so that dream could be a reality. You see, whenever Jesus met people, do you know what the first thing he said is? The kingdom of heaven is here. The kingdom of God is with us. Because Jesus brought the kingdom of heaven to earth. And think about how Jesus taught us to pray, the Our Father. Say that beginning part with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What is Jesus teaching us to pray? That God's kingdom in heaven come down to earth. 
See, God's dream of the kingdom of heaven is that heaven and earth become one. It's a dream for all of creation, and it's a dream that includes you and me. God wants us to be one with Him in love and wants us to be one with one another in love. It's a big dream. It means we all live in peace and harmony. It means there's no more pain or sorrow. And only God can make that dream happen. And that's why he sent us Jesus, but he wants us to be a part of it. So how can we be a part of it? Well, let's remember what Jesus says are the two most important commandments, to love God with all our heart, with all our mind, all our soul, and to love one another. That's what it means in a parable when we need to give up everything so that we can be part of the key time that you pray the Our Father or any other prayer, you are making the kingdom of heaven happen. See, it's here. Jesus is here with us in spirit and in the word and in the Eucharist. But the kingdom of heaven is not finished yet. And so we need to help make that kingdom of heaven real in our world, in our lives. That's what God wants us to do. So we need to give of ourselves every time we love someone, every time we forgive someone, every time we share something with someone. Every act of kindness makes the kingdom of heaven more real here on earth. So I want you to think about this week. How can you give up something to make the kingdom of heaven more real here right now? Because it's worth more than any toy, any bike, anything in the world. Because it's God's dream and it can be ours too. Okay, so wherever you are right now, I want you to grab a partner. And remember, point to your heart and say, God lives in me. Point to your partner's heart and say, God lives in you. Wiggle your fingers in the air and say, the Holy Spirit moves in me. Wiggle your fingers in front of your partner's face and say, the Holy Spirit moves in you. Take your partner's hand and say, we are God's people. We are part of the kingdom of heaven. Let's go out and spread the good news. See you next week.